Hey guys, it's MJ and in this video we're going to be looking at a probability paradox. Okay, probability paradox, so it's going to be this new little series where I look at some interesting probability questions and we try to figure them out as we go along. So without further ado, let's, let's just get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. Okay? And, and the first one that I'm going to be talking about is called the million dollar box. So you're on a very strange game show, okay? So you're on a little game show, and there are two boxes placed before you. So let's call this one box one, and this one's box two. Okay, now box one, it's open. It's open, and there's $1,000 inside. So it's $1,000, and it's open, and it's guaranteed. In box two, well, box two is closed, so you're actually not sure what exactly is inside. But the game show host tells you that there is either one million US dollars inside or there's nothing at all. Now, he doesn't give us the probability of whether it's a million or whether it's zero. But what he does is he gives us the following choices. Okay, so we've got choice one, we've got choice two, and we've got choice three. Choice one is that we just take box one. Choice two is that we just take box two, and choice three is that we take box one and box two, so we take both. Now, immediately, your game theory must be kicking in and me saying, oh my gosh, this is the best decision. You know, this is the decision we must be doing. Because remember, these boxes, um, they're closed, you can't tamper with them, $1,000 open in the one, and in the other one, it's closed, nobody can alter it, but it's random between there being a million and there being zero. So this one seems like the best decision. But what happens is the game show host, he says something rather interesting. And this might change your decision. He says that he somehow has the psychic ability and he's always been able to determine whether the box two has the million or whether it has the zero. He says he's been playing this game for a long time and somehow he always knows what the outcome's gonna be. And he says, in your case, he says that if you choose just box two, he says there's gonna be the one million dollars inside. If you choose box one and two, he says that box two will contain zero dollars inside. So you look at this and you think, well, this guy, if what he's saying is correct, then we should just choose box two because we're going to get the million. But how worthy or how you know reliable is this guy's information? What he says, and this may change your decision again, is he says that if I'm wrong, I will give a million dollars to a random person in the audience. Okay, so now this is interesting. So this guy is pretty sure on his decision. So if you trust him, you should only choose box two. But while you go and you think, okay, let me go and choose box two, you see box one just sitting there. And you think to yourself, well, whether the money's inside or not inside box two, nothing can change that. The box is closed. There's no way for him to alter it. If I just take box two, it's either a million or it's zero. But by me taking box one, it doesn't influence at all the context of box two. So now the question comes down is, do you take box one and box two or do you just use box two? So I'm going to write it out as a little bit of a probability statement. But you can see that we don't actually really matter about the probabilities. Why this is a bit of a paradox is because someone is giving us information after the event has occurred, which could not possibly affect it you know, retrospectively. But are we still prepared to risk a million dollars in that sense? So here we go. The probability that box two is equal to one million given that you choose box 
1 as well is equal to 0 according to this guy. And the probability that box 2 is equal to the 1 million, given that you don't choose, you choose only box 2, is equal to 1. But the probability that box 2 equals 1 million by itself, you know, it's according to this random random value or this probability value over here. You know, think of it as a percentage. So the question that I want to ask you guys is, would you choose box 1 or would you choose box 1 and 2? Let me know in the comment section below. And it'll be fairly interesting to see which choices you guys decide upon. I think I think there might be a lot of people who who might choose box one and box two. Sorry, box two only. No one would no one would only choose box one. That's 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 like the worst thing to do. Sorry, box two or box one and box two. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below which one you will do. And also let me know if you like this style of video. I'm thinking of making a whole bunch of, you know, random probability videos like this just for fun to see how they how they do. So hit subscribe, hit like if you like this. Uh, they'll just encourage me to, to continue making videos like this. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. I'll probably release these once a week. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next week for the next question. Thanks. Cheers.